Okay, I got a new push rod for your engine here, and here it is. It goes in there, and it sits in there in the little hole back there. And then when you start turning this engine over, okay, you might see how this, uh, here's, the, here's a rocker for the exhaust valve. And as it's spinning around, you can see the exhaust valve going down. Okay, and it comes back around, and then this is the compression stroke. Okay, and power stroke. Yeah, let's see. Somewhere in there is supposed to be the intake stroke. <laughs> and then there's a rocker that's missing here that I took off. Actually, here. Rocker goes here. There's a rocker arm. All right. And the, uh, see the push, push tube goes in there. It's kind of fell out. But, so that is the old tube. The push tube for the rocker that depresses the valve down like you just saw on the exhaust side of things. So, <clears throat> when I put that new push rod in there, okay, and got everything to the correct clearance, and I spun the engine around, that rocker, this push rod, would not push down on this valve because it's frozen in the, in the head. So this valve right here, is because it's froze when the rocker comes to uh well when the push rod goes up to do the little teeter-totter on the rocker well when that valve froze that push rod kept trying to go and that's what happened so this is frozen and it requires removing this cylinder which uh i'm not really into um doing engine rebuilds that's in my advertisements so um, just letting you know what's going on here this valve on the uh, right cylinder here is uh, is frozen to the uh, to the head or to the valve guide or it's bent requiring that this cylinder be removed and um, for the for the uh, repair to be done or depending on you know what you want to put into it you could replace the engine so anyway just giving you an update after you get this, if you want to give me a call and chat or whatever, let me know what you want to do with it. Um, that's cool. But I'm I'm not rebuilding the engine. I, I really do not have the expertise with this particular uh, model to go into it. I would need special tools and whatnot. And uh, like, I, like I advertise in my repair um, ad that I do on Craigslist and stuff, I, I don't get into engine repairs. So this deep. But anyway, um, yeah, I took the carburetor and all that stuff off because it definitely needed it. All of the orifices were clogged up and stuff like that. So we're just going to try to get away with just replacing the push rod. I uh, power washed it off real good to see if I could uh, pinpoint that uh, where the leak's coming from. And even after I got everything off, still it's leaking oil and there's no oil on the dipstick. So, you know... I was hoping to get it running and then take a closer look at what's going on, but uh, it ain't going to be running for a while. And uh, and then when you do get it running, I think there's a possibility that your sump gasket or the main crankshaft seal on the bottom part of the engine might be leaking. So that's just something else along with the, the engine's got to be completely removed um, to get to that uh, the main seal on the bottom. That's another thing. You know, just trying to figure out where it's leaking all that oil out. And I suspect because it was run for a while without oil in it, see, um, this lower valve, these lower valves on both sides are the exhaust valves. And they're lower to the sump to where the oil is. So it's easier for this oil to get up here. Uh, easier than it is for the intake valves to get oil pumped up to them. So once it gets really low and it stays low for a long time, um, that is i think the result here you know it just uh it's metal on metal you know and it's uh it just freezes up so that's what's going on yeah just give me a call let me know what you want to do